Hello everyone and welcome back to week 5 of season 2 of EGFH in Overwatch. My name is Kevin Navic Dignan and for this series I'm joined by the VK. Today we're live with games from our Connecticut region. We're starting uh, with games between the Woodstock Academy Centaurs and the Fairfield Ludlow Falcons. I want to thank our sponsors, the Yukon Gaming Club, the Yukon School of Engineering and Mob Crush for making this season possible. Now, to get into this game, the map selection will be just like you see it in Overwatch League. Hybrid, then Assault, Welcome then Control, Lizard. then Escort, wow. and if the fifth map is needed, we'll have a tiebreaker on Control. This week's map pool is Blizzard World, Horizon Lunar Colony, Busan, this one is new, Road 66, and a tiebreaker on Nepal, and we're going to blizzard world already so let's talk a little bit about the teams i, I just want to say just before we did that of course because of the competitive season we will have torbjorn in this week's games and i know we were talking about it last week vk but me and you were very excited for two things torbjorn and busan and busan's the third map oh yeah it's gonna be torbjorn on busan for double hype Paul, as it currently looks, it's going to be Torbjorn on Blizzard World with Stavok. No, he's going to switch. He usually does the tanking. But maybe no. there's something about tanking as a Torbjorn, because uh, way back in competitive, a guy just picked Torbjorn instead of a main tank. So maybe that's a new strategy. <sighs> or maybe I should have reported it. Anyways. Time to let off some steam. On the blue team, we have... Uh, the centaurs and on the red team we have uh, the falcons what do you expect i expect a good game that's for sure both teams here have shown phenomenal gameplay throughout the last four weeks of the season of the season so i think this may be the closest match we see possibly all the way till the finals now we've got the Pretty much standard Three, GOATS combination two, from the Falcons. Yeah, They're going to be faced by a... That's a weird combination. Orisa plus Roadhog as tanks. Three healers and a McCree. Yeah, but Brigida of course can pop out a lot of damage. So that might be what they're thinking, right? Deal a lot of damage if they're playing against GOATS and they're all grouped up. Try and get one pick with the Roadhog Hook and just try and slowly tear apart that combination. They're not running the Fara, so that combo isn't going to be there. But Stevix is, oh, uh, Stevix there is going to get stunned down by the Brigida push, but it doesn't matter because she's going to end up falling to the rest of the team's damage because GOATS is just going to be focusing the down. Snake OUO finding Zuan there, which is going to be very, very important for the rest of this push. But as I said that, it looks like it's just left to Snake Skin and Snake OUO, and they're going to fall very quickly. And of course, that's the power of GOATS, right? One person and they just keep going. They only lost the Zuem there. That's it. It's uh, having a huge impact on the ultimate. 3D memes already has the coalescence, and uh, Stevek has really close to the Earth Shatter. This is gonna be crucial in the next fight, especially seeing us only Snake OUO was close with the High Noon. Surrender to my will. Yeah, the coalescence coming out and the hammer down actually being blocked by an overbutt shield there. The counter stun coming out from both of them, so they both got knocked down. The coalescence managing to keep Stavik alive for a little while there. But overbutt can snake OVO and OUO are going to be able to find plenty of kills there. And it looks like they managed to find at least a gap in the GOATS combination there as the Centaurs managed to hold off the second push. A huge mistake from Stevek and a great read from overbutt. Reading that Earth Shatter like an open book. Yeah, no, that was that was very well played, and you, you know how it is, VK. Whenever we cast the uh, the centaurs, trying to get used to all of their snake names is always a good time. <laughs> a lot of always being popped out. Animal seeing that graviton, we see Snark's diva bomb coming out, trying to find somebody. But over, but manages to save most of their players there with the shield along with Snake Obio. A huge earth shadow coming down as he manages to hit five people there. They're going to be able to push it forward and possibly clear out the entirety of the Falcons. Oh, Stavik leaving there with an exit kill, just no just managing to get himself this off the map, but also taking over but with him. And another high noon from Snake OUO. For Snake OUO, so I'm switching to Sombra Stivek. They're revamping their whole strategy, they're going to dive this. Sacrificing almost every ultimate they had, only Glacier is uh, close with the beats. 
The next couple of fights is gonna be very tough for the Falcons. Yeah, and like you were saying about the triple heal being an interesting decision by the Centaurs, they're gonna switch over to Anna, or a free move is gonna switch over to Anna specifically to try and deal with all of that AoE healing that they're getting from Brigida and Lucio just constantly being in battle and staying around the team. Well, what can I suggest? So the Centaurs need to spread out. Because Maple, he can cleanse two of the biotic grenades charges. Yeah, and man, just as you mentioned, Mabel, they do have Graviton as they manage to throw it out. Followed up by the Earth Shadow, it is going to find three people. Although Stebek tried to save his team there, he was a bit too slow onto the bubble. Unfortunately, making it so the Earth Shadow still managed to find fruity memes. Now, notice that the, there's no Graviton Surge Hello. for Falcons ever, because they've got a D.Va and they've got a Winston. Why is the so stopped? it's going to be really hard for fruity memes to land that bio biotic grenade. Mm. And only if he lands it into two separate people that aren't barrier, then something might happen. Otherwise, Maple just holds on to that barrier, and uses it on whoever biotic grenade hits. Yeah, even with the high ground right now, we're going to see Stavik jumping into the point, looking for snake skin to try and deal with that mercy that's managing to keep him alive, and he's just being able to find any way that he can with this positioning, flying around, keeping himself alive, whilst the rest of his team just keeps pumping out all of the damage, along with Brigitte and Lucio's healing and a little bit of damage buff. It's just, it's so sustainable if they can't pick up one of those supports. I wonder if the switch from Goats for Falcons was a little bit of a rush decision. Because they took the point relatively easily without Goats, only losing one. And after that, well... One failed ultimate forces them to switch. Mm. Get back in the fight. I found it. That's kind of impatient. Look at Zuem. He's really close to the EMP. Yeah, that might be what they're waiting for here, right? Get the EMP, save the ropes, wait for an EMP from Zuem, have Snark Diva Bomb. As I said that though, they Diva Bomb and Primal Rage looking to find somebody. Snark's Diva Bomb actually finding Snake, OVO, and Maple, so that means there's not going to be any shields coming out from that Zarya, freeing it up for Fruity Moons to be able to get a larger and like a bio grenade onto it. But Snake OVO is going to pop that high noon, try and CC them out a little bit, but Zuem sneaking up behind him actually manages to hack him out of that high noon, completely wasting the ultimate, and now with the MP and Nano, they might be able to find an opening, as they only need to get it around this corner, they don't know where Zuem is at the moment. <laughs> Animal looking to try and find Snake OVO there, and we see the Nano coming out, a huge EMP coming out, it does manage to find Snake OVO, so they're not gonna have that Brigadier Shield, Snake OVO is gonna be trying to find something, a Meteor Strike coming out, and Snake Skin is gonna be looking for the res, but actually gets hacked by Zuem, who was sitting up behind them, and they're just gonna be able to clear up this fight now, Maple actually getting anti there, and if he doesn't have barriers to save himself, he is just gonna fall whilst being knocked up into the air, and that's gonna be the second point. Catch it. Oh, that was still a very long stall on the second point for the Centaurs. Because compared to how quickly they lost the first point, they certainly they certainly got their uh, their downsides back. What they were losing, they they have now evened it out. Maple has uh, the Graviton Surge. Overbot has his ultimate. And to top it off, I knew. If executed right, this is gonna be devastating for the Falcons. Yeah, the start of the fight start, uh, starts there. Snake are you were finding Stebbin, which is gonna be really, really important as the main tank pulls for the Falcons, but they're managing to clear it up fairly nicely with Zuem finding that, uh, pit, uh, that pick on McCree, that anti-mail finding Snake OVO, and a second one on them, so that's going to be two of the supports for the Centaurs falling, and Overbar and Maple are going to try and stay onto the point for as long as they can, I didn't actually see Snake Skin there, but they are just going to quickly fall, just charging up the ultimates of the Falcons. Miss me? Zuem is certainly being a huge nuisance. Those hacks and EMP, another EMP getting really close. And this is gonna be hard for the centaurs. Yeah, Snark still having that diva bomb and a nano being there, but saying that the centaurs do have a graviton noon. They they might pop the yeah, but Vidas is gonna be popped there, trying to give up the armor. We're gonna see both the Winston bubbles coming out along with Snark's uh Snark's Diva Bomb there. Uh, the Graviton coming out and they're gonna have to find something here with Snake OU was high noon, but he decides not to actually use it whilst the Graviton came out, trying to deal with Stebuck, making sure he doesn't get jumped on. Maybe he's gonna be able to find it. And they do actually successfully push them away. Nice graviton decision from Maple. 
is zoning out Stivex, so he can't burn anyone to death uh, while under the nano boost. That's that's very impressive. And no ultimates to work with for the Falcons. Yeah, and then we're gonna bring it to this last. This last fight here, five seconds um, left onto the clock. It's make it or make or break here for the Falcons. Overbot does get slept and knocked off to the edge. He's going to have the jump here to get back onto the point there, but he actually gets knocked back up by anti mail off of the map once again. The hack coming out, being able to find Maple there. It's going to be absolutely huge as anti mail manages to find Maple along with getting his Meteor Strike, looking for Snake Oyo there, trying to deal with that McCraney. Managed to, and it's down to Snake Skin and Snake Ovio to try and keep the t his team alive and try and keep them on that point. Bullrush, the rest of his team, makes it. We see Overbot about to get that. He manages to jump on the point, the bubble coming out, but it's him, it's 1v6. The hammer down coming down from Stevic. He manages to hit Maple there, so he's not gonna be able to move, but the primal rage comes out from Overbutt, trying to keep his team alive. MRD manages to get it back into the point, but with Maple and Overbutt being nanty there, he's not gonna be able to keep any healing up. Snake Oyo not gonna be able to get onto the point as Snake Skin tries to get back there with the res, but he does just get punched by Mail. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Still, they go to overtime. Sides. Which means uh, if, and that's a big if actually, the Centaurs can make it to three points, we're going to have a draw on the first map. Are we going to have a draw on the first map? Uh, I, I doubt it's quite hard to draw on these maps. Still, still, if... Uh, the Falcons go GOATs once again, it's going to be very hard for the Centaurs to take a draw. If not, well, they have a big shot at this. Snake Oyo is going to try and play it with Sombra under three healers. No Doomfist for that Sombra. Hmm. No one to, like I have time to do some put burst damage into Maple's Graviton Surge. Are they Hello, actually relying on uh, just their guns? I mean, they, that, that's definitely a possibility, right? They could be kind of confident. That was a very close game, almost managing to defend it. Well, yeah, but uh, still seeing no follow-up for the EMP and uh, Graviton Surge makes me wonder. Hello there. Well, there's also what the possibility the that they don't expect a Sombra. Maybe. Right, because Zuan was playing it last time, and of course he's now on... I, I actually don't think we've seen the Centaurs play a Sombra before saying that. It's mostly been like Genji, McCree, Farah. So that that's also the possibility there of being unsure, or just not prepared for them to play that. Well, if it, if it is uh, actually that way, it's going to be a big surprise for the Falcons. Yeah, and we're gonna see the start of this coming out, so I'm managing to find MRD here, but Snark's actually caught out from the rest of the team, he does manage to get around there just in time. Looks like he's gonna get picked, Stevic coming in with a counter charge from Overbutt there, he does get anti in that brief downtime, but he's gonna be trying to protect his team from anti Widow Widowmaker sitting in the background, he finds Snake Oyo and Zoom's gonna find Maple here, so now in a 3v5 situation, no, 3v6 situation, nobody's actually died on the side of the Falcons there, they are gonna be able to hold it from this first push. No one dies, yet 50% of the points are lost. And uh, a third, a third of the point is uh, going to stay the way of the centaurs. Also the ultimates. Snake Oyo sacrifices everything he had built on that EMP. Goes Tracer. But everything else except MRD is very close. There's Zuan popping that rib tie there, it's gonna go over the wall and it's actually gonna find all three of the supports on the centaurs there, that's extremely unfortunate as Stavik follows up over Butt's charge there, pinning him into the wall and it's gonna be down to Snake Oyuho and Maple to try and find something here, I think they should just try and regroup, not get picked off by the rest of the Falcons, but Snake Oyuho does get picked there and if Maple can't find a corner, anti is gonna find him very quickly. You're going to be okay. Well, I guess Snake Oyuho is just trying to build up his bomb there. Maple? Well, that's a whole different matter. He already has the um, the ultimate. He already has the Gravity Surge. 
the Graviton Search coming out from Maple there. It's going to be absolutely a key element to that planet. Snake skin pops Coalescence, and as they circle around them, they're just going to be able to find pick after pick. None of the shields being able to stop any of that Coalescence damage. A very bold attempt from 3D memes, but unsuccessful. Stop the payload. And um, the centaurs now have to realize they're facing a lot of enemy ultimates. They should know they haven't seen anything. They haven't seen uh, Stevek use the Shatter. They haven't seen the Nano Boost, the Graviton, and the Valkyrie. To Swim changes to Brigitta. Nanti Mail changes to Widowmaker. No, and he's, or not. Uh, I, I believe yeah, yeah, yeah. been on it. Yeah, yeah, and right. he's been on the Widowmaker right. the whole time there. But he is going to be up in the high ground though. Snake, are you are trying to find him for as quickly as he can. The hammer gun coming out, but it actually gets eaten by Snark's bubble there. The counter hammer strike is, or hammer down is going to be able to find. For, uh, I believe that was four different people there. Snake skin only being the only one who didn't survive getting knocked down there. Maple and Snake skin now trying to back out, trying to get to the rest of the team before they feed any more ultimate. But they do push forward. Maple trying to get charged up, eating that fire strike. Now being should be sitting at about 70 percent compared uh, compared to Snark's probably about 60. I say that Snark's actually at 80 percent. Yeah, the Graviton coming out there, the Earth Shadow or oh, Earth Strike coming out as well. They're going to be able to find the pin from Snake Skin there, so that's going to be really, really important. So they're not going to have that Coalescence healing. They're going to reduce the healing overall from the side of the Centaurs. And with this triple healing uh, comp that they're running, it's so vital to be able to keep all three of them alive. Snake coming out with another Earth Shadow actually going to find three more. Max! Yeah. <laughs> Civic build that ult really fast. And a Panic Shadow from Overbot. Or probably wants to switch up to something. Because uh, otherwise, there was not much use for that shatter. Still, still, only a nano boost left for the Falcons for their defense. Well, it's Maple and Snake Skin and MRD already have their ultimates. Now the key here is going to be, of course, the Graviton Surge. Yeah, which he is going to be able to find there with the Coalescence coming out, but it very quickly gets shut down as they manage to uh, they manage to absorb a lot of the damage there with Snark's bubble. Snark is going to get nano boosted, and with all of that charge that he's currently got, he's going to be looking to melt all of the tanks on the side of the Centaurs. Managed to find a couple of them, but anti Mel actually got picked off by Snake Oyo now, the trade of the Widows, and it's going to be just Snark sitting in the background there, the Brigada chasing after him, and Snake Ovo. Managing to clear that up as well, so it, that Willow switch is really working out for him. Antimail using his ultimate to see where the payload is and where the heroes are. Seeing cheeky flanks coming up. But they let the payload slide. Yeah, and Stevix hammer down actually got cancelled there by a shield charge from Snake Ovio. So that's going to mean that Earth Shadow is not going to be up for a little bit longer as it was cancelled. And email taking that high ground, but Snake Ovio sees that and tries to go for that Widow duel with support from Snake Skin. He still manages to lose it there, unfortunately, though. But getting the point, the spawn point is actually behind the rest of the Falcons. And three ultimates ready for the Centaurs. Now, Snake OUS improviser is uh, not that Set much of a problem, each. but if yes, Overbot lands that Earth Shatter, this is going to be huge problems for the Falcons. Yeah, the Graviton coming out, followed by the Earth Shatter, but there was a counter, I believe. No, okay, Stevix Earth Shatter didn't come out. That was just Overbot. So then be preceded by Stevix Earth Shatter there, unfortunately. Not being able to find anything after Snark's Graviton on the side of the Centaurs. They tried to counter it out, but quickly rejected by Stevix, and they are going to be able to find plenty of picks. Another Graviton Transcendence combo ready for the Centaurs. Now with a minute and 30 on the clock, they, uh, they, they are experiencing some problems because uh, that's a long way to go for the payload. Yeah, we see the Graviton coming out there. This is going to be a full brawl coming out. Snark managed to get so much of his charge whilst being stuck in the middle of that Graviton, trying to look for anybody. But, over, but Snake OU is going to be able to flank around to the corner, find anti mail just after he gets a pick, unfortunately, not being able to save Snake Skin. But Snake Skin is going to use this chance now to switch over from the Moira over to the Ana to try and maybe help with some of the anti-healing or maybe just focus on a Nano, try and get over, but really big in the whilst they charge in. And they're just going to be able to push this pick. 60 seconds left on the clock the announcer just said there so they've not got much time but they've also not got much distance to push it further 
Zoom sacrifices the whole rally. He had a build up rally, now he's a junk rat. Already on half the Riptire, but. Uh, yes, Stavix. working good for him. Yeah, yeah Stavix out there managing to find five people as he came around the corner. 30 seconds left on the clock. It's probably going to be the final push that the Centaurs have to try and get this and get it into overtime. Well, Overbot plus Snake OU will both have their ultimates. And uh, if they can land them, if they can do something with them, they actually have a shot at this. They're gonna roll it to overtime. They're gonna, they're gonna finish it in overtime. Great. Yeah, the overtime here. This might be exactly what the Centaurs need. If they manage to stop Zuem there, but they're not gonna be able to. So Zoom, Zoom is gonna be able to find a triple kill there with MID Snake OUO and Snake OVO all falling. And that might that, that was exactly what the Falcons needed to recover from that fight. As we see anti Mail coming back in with the Doomfist, you know how deadly he is with it over by trying his best to stay onto it, but they're not gonna be able to. And I don't believe anybody's gonna be able to get that back before overtime. MRD and Snake OVO trying. Double kill. Remember kids, don't try it this in competitive, because if you switch off a hero with a build-up ultimate... Well, it's not gonna go as good for you. Still, props to Zuem, props to both teams, because that was a very close game, and the next map is going to be Horizon Lunar Colony. Now, we've seen that one before from the Falcons. But uh, not from the Centaurs, so what do you expect from the Centaurs? Well, the Centaurs have been a team that have been known to adapt, right? And they tried adapting so quickly, but like you said earlier, maybe they should have stayed on that GOATS comp for a little bit longer. On mm. the... Uh, see how sort of they could maybe push, yeah. like, you know? Yeah, that, uh, that is possible, but still... Still, maybe we'll see something really cheeky now. Something Torbjorn. Yeah? Sounds like Torbjorn spirit. <laughs> I mean, that would that would definitely be fun to see, right? Because what map are we going into, VK? Uh, just like I said, Horizon Lunar Colony. There we go. Okay. I, I, I wasn't sure if you had said it. Uh, my cat during that game attacked me. I say attack jumped at me, so uh, I was a little bit distracted at the end there, but that was an absolutely fantastic game. And Do you with call her Colony... Winston? Yeah. Your no, cat. The, the, cat, the cat's name is Max. But, um, but no, with Luna, but speaking of Winston, we might see some dive club going into Luna Colony. Oh, uh, that is possible. The high grounds are vital on this map, and uh, we are definitely going to see both teams occupying the high ground from the very start. Yeah, and of course, we both want to see some Torbjorn, and if we don't, if I don't see a Torbjorn, especially in Busan, I'm, I'm going to be very disappointed. And there's the Winston we were just talking about. Uh, I do, I'm unsure if the teams were meant to switch what side they were on before we got into this game, but oh. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna cut to a quick break really quick just to fix some things. So VK with Lunar Colony, like we were just talking about it for a little bit, right? What what do you what do you expect? We did see a Winston coming out from I believe that was Stevok. Well, just like you said, a dive combination to take the high ground. After ex establishing control of the high ground, well, it could go anywhere. They could uh, just stay there until their mobility tools cool down wears off and uh, try and take the point just with the mobility. Or they can try and uh, go for an opening frag and uh, without without any stalling, without any waiting, just roll onto the point and try and fight this uh, just by the sheer numbers. 6v5, 6v4, depending on how Traveling good it goes. Luna yeah, and now, okay, the teams are sorted out now on their right sides. So we're going to see Snark on that Symmetra. We always see him pick Symmetra at the start of these rounds, but I am very curious if one point he's just going to stay on it. Well, it's possible. Symmetra is uh, one of the cheekiest 
cheekiest maybe strategies to get to the high ground but if the teleporter gets destroyed too quickly it's not gonna be very good for whatever team uses it because that then the team would be separated and uh, two consecutive fights of uh, 6v3 is much better than one fight of 6v6 hello there yeah I we see a standard, fairly standard gold composition from uh, the Falcons. And we see Steric oh, no, on that that's, that's again. Yeah, and we see Steric on that Torbjorn again. And we know he's probably going to change. But Unfortunately. I wish he would just... I, I know he's their main tank and I know it's really important for him to play. Hello. And... 10 seconds until the start, both tanks are still not in position. I wonder if the centaurs can make an advantage of this. Coming into objective A now, of course, as you were saying, they've just got basic goats comp coming over by the centaurs, the falcons going to be sticking onto that high ground. A huge hole actually coming out there from Stebuk, managing to pull Maple off from the top, keeping Snark to be able to keep the high ground, make sure that he's nice and safe, whilst the rest of them rotate over onto this mid window to try and stop them. Now, they are the ones trying to defend or trying to attack the point from the rotation that's happened. Stebek staying onto the high ground, like I just said, trying to keep up, trying to keep his team alive, trying to keep Widow uh, anti male there defended with that shield, but at one some point he's going to have to drop, especially now that Snark has lost his mech, so he's going to be low. A big anti coming out, but at the moment, an inch with that rotation might have not been the right call, is they're not going to be able to get back onto the point with the amount of aggression that's coming out from the centaurs. Another big anti coming out, actually managing to hit everyone other than MRD, so MRD's healing isn't actually going to be effective at all at the moment, but unfortunately for him, Glacier do fall, and with Snark losing his mech once again instead of falling, that looks like the first point's going to go towards the centaurs. I uh, kind of liked the way the Falcons contested the point. One hero at a time, they tried not to feed the Centaurs too much ultimate charge. Didn't work out though, as uh, we already see two ultimates raise. Nico, you're really close. Some of those ultimates already getting used, but to no avail. The fight is over before it got started. And Overbot just switches to Winston. Snake you not a good death for him. No, that was very unfortunate. And of course, like we were saying, and we've said in the past weeks, right? If you see goats, you farrow. I'm with you. Yep. And uh, it pretty much works out for Antimail so far. It's already at 40% charge, and uh, yeah. with that rework, he's gonna get that uh, barrage much faster than he used to. And Zoom's rip tires. Uh, the last couple games have been on fire, although that was a single kill there, getting Snake OVO is really, really important for the rest of the team to be able to clear through with the Farah. The Coalescence coming out, and it, like we were just saying, the Farah is so important in countering this comp, they're going to be trying absolutely everything to deal with them. Fruity memes and anti is managing to stay alive, uh, uh, Overbot's going to be trying to find them there, but with the Farm Mercy going, they're just going to be able to come healed, Mercy falling out of mech. We're going to see the area denial coming out from Stebic there, so they're not going to be able to get onto the point without taking a bunch of damage either, because they've got to have many people the justice as well not being able to find anybody other than snake skin there snake jumping in as soon as he hears the rally coming out from snake ovo knocking them up into the air saved by mrt's uh, sound barrier there and nobody actually noticing maple up into the high ground just kind of shooting down raining for some of those deeper bullets managing to get the entirety of his ult from that fight well, look at center still committing to the fight although they're fighting uh, at a num numerical disadvantage all the time they're trying to build up ultimates, they build those ultimates, they use those ultimates, but nothing changes. The point is still at zero. Yeah, and I, I mean, they still have plenty of time, right? Four minutes 30 on the clock. They managed to take that first point so quickly, they have some time to just sit, think about how they want to take this. But they need to be building up their ult. Snake OUO, of course, on that Widowmaker needs to be able to find an opening pick here on the Far Mercy. Oh, I say Parmesi, Zoom actually switch. Uh, Zoom and Antimail have actually switched to Sombra and Widow, so 
Pharmacy's not going to be an issue anymore, but I suppose I saw some of them switching off of that ghost comp and thought, okay, now we can switch around. Two male should snake out you all. Overbot. Yeah, Stevic having another ultimate there, and Snake Ovio being caught into the middle. He is going to fall to the mind. Overbot's going to be able to try and save people that are actually successfully managing to keep his mech from that sleep. Stevic, of course, with the ult, is going to be able to enter another person, and Snake's going to fall into him as well. The wheel is turning for the hamster, you could say. Totally. And uh, I like the way Stevic places his ultimate. Flies at just right height to cover the whole point with his landmines. It's certain think... he puts a lot of a lot of time into studying the hamster. Yeah, he's definitely at least done his research on where he should be using those ults at what altitude, what the spread's like, and you know that's important. It's important to know those little things. Maybe some players don't really think about it as much, but it's so handy to be able to guarantee those things. And jumping in like that, he was at the right angle to swing into that door frame and knock some of them away. Even though he got stunned, he managed to separate MRD from the rest of his team. And if that Lucio falls, that's a lot of healing gone. And the only ultimates we see for the centaurs right now are Maple's mech and Snake Skin's uh, coalescence. Not really good, but MRD is close, Snake OVO is close. But no offensive ults for the Centaurs so far. Maple's um, cooldown is gonna be used to just put him back into the mech. He gets kicked out or not. Uh, and there's gonna be so many ults coming out from both teams here, but mostly from the Centaurs as they try to engage. But unfortunately, the mix of the Coalescent and the Na and the Diva Bomb weren't actually able to find anybody quickly retorted by counter ults coming out from the Falcons there. And it's gonna work out for them very, very well as MRD pushes his sound barrier there along with the Rally. They're gonna be trying to find something, but Stevic getting his bombs out again, just denying that area. It's so much scarier. Overbuck popping the Primal Rage, he knows it's like now or never to try and find some of these picks, but nobody's focusing Zoom in the air on that Farah, just looking to deal out that damage, deal as much splash damage as he can, even though that was like changed and nerfed out a little bit. Farah is still very, very scary when uncontested and you're grouped up like that. Well, look at that time. Still 1 minute and 40 seconds on the clock, and this is going a lot better for the Centaurs than the last fights. Yeah, the Centaurs are getting very, very close there. Stevic's trying whatever he can. Again, he seems to have these Hammond ults every single fight. The Zoom has respawned, he's back on the point now. We see the Diva Bomb coming out, and of course, they're gonna be able to find uh, get around the corner there with MRD Speed Boost. But anti mail on that Doom Fist is gonna be able to find MRD, so now no Speed Boost. Maple getting back into that mech in the middle of all of that fire. Managing to survive with that 2 HP. I say that, actually. Stevic chases him down. We hear the blade coming out from Snake. He manages to find uh, Fruity Memes there, but it's gonna fall to snark and with 60 seconds left on the clock they need to find something meteor strike immediately coming out from anti-mail it's gonna find him out the fight and again <laughs> snake ovo and the uh, snake skin are the only ones with the ultimates no offensive ults again only 30 seconds on the clock snake ou is not stacking up that dragon blade in that narrow of a time window yeah and we see the rally coming out by snake ovo by himself along with that coalescence they're going to be trying to keep each other grouped together as quickly as they can to get as much of that armor out as they can but snark's going to be jumping into the middle of the all, not letting anybody off the points pretty mean flying in he manages to get a little bit out of position there maybe questioning his own flight there with stevic having his ult again denying that area, MRD hits one of them, so if he hits another without being killed, he is gonna fall, but Snake Skin manages to find his anti mail coming in there, trying to deal and just disrupt them in the back line. MRD sound barrier is gonna be so important to for the success of this fight. If they're able to find something there, managing to keep them alive for just a little bit longer. A lot of bombs coming out from Stevic there is over, but manages to get healed up very, very quickly then. Snake's OUO actually getting plenty of dash resets there, finding Snark, and it actually looks like they might be able to get this in overtime. It looks like uh, the Falcons are still struggling, still want to try and make something out of this map, but it's unlikely that uh, something will work for them. 
Shark is very close on the Mega Explosion, but does not happen. Stops at 98%. That should see seal the deal. Yes. It does. Still, it took so much effort for the Centaurs to try and to crush that defense. And email there with an absolutely huge play at that last second. I, I was amazed by what just happened there. <laughs> I mean, wait, wait, what? It's not zero to two. No, and email what? stopped them right at the last second there. Nice. Yeah, the do the uh, the meteor strike came out from uh, anti mail there, and they all jumped off and C nine to the point. Wow. That's area denial right there. You say don't feel still balanced. I mean, I'd say that so was more ninety-three point two percent for the centaurs is not that bad of a result. If they can hold on to the first point a little bit longer than uh, than it took them to capture it, they have a shot at this map. If not, well. Like we just see in six minutes, is uh, Hello there. it's not the sentence. You can actually play with it. You can actually try and win the map with it. And we see Symmetra from Schnark. Not sure if he's gonna hold on to it, but uh, if he is, this is gonna be no. No juice for us. I will draw them into Yeah, and Tineko, you are now on that Hanzo, so they're running the double sniper. Again, we see goats coming out this time from the Falcons. They know how effective it is, and if a double sniper comp like this can't find a pick before they get onto the point, they're gonna have a lot of trouble trying to recover it. A big anti coming out, actually hitting the entirety of the Falcons here. So if Stevic can charge in here, maybe play a bit more aggressive, try and find one person with the rest of his team, as Goat should be doing, or building his ult as quickly as he can, then it's going to be really, really important. Overmatch standing up above everybody as Zoom actually hit a lovely uh, flail there, knocking him up into the air as he charged, so it forced him to stay in and just hit the wall. I'm actually pretty surprised to see MRD on the Zarya and not Maple. Yeah, well, maybe both Earth Shatters coming out there. Overbot, of course, being nanoed, so probably better for Stevic hitting that nano. He sees the charge coming out and the counter charge there. That seemed frame perfect. A second, like a split second longer, and that would have been a pin. Um. Well, those uh, those simultaneous. Earth Shatters, well, that, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how exactly did Overbot lose that uh, Shatter fight. I believe they were pressed seemed to have the upper hand. I think they were pressed at roughly exactly the same time, so as the stun hit, they just hit each other at the same time. And the counter charge from Stevok, I think that's what we should expect, right? He is a top 100 player. He's known for his Reinhardt being his main, so if the man can't counter charge somebody on a split second, then uh, I, I don't know what to say on that one, but we're going to see a huge fight coming out as both of the rallies come out from both Brigidas there. The dragons are going to be able to completely shut this fight down and deny it. Actually managing to find Stevok, which is going to be super important as anti Bell has to jump off to the side and try and escape, but he is going to get picked down and chased down by MRD. And I believe that was Snake OVO, yes. Snake OVO seems really comfortable on that Hanzo. And Maple is not half bad on Widowmaker. Now, MRD on Zarya, well, not going very good for him as uh, we don't see a lot of Graviton surges so far. Antimail has his own ready for two minutes now. And there it goes. Yeah, the fight coming out in now, we're going to see Snakeskin trying to find something, get separated by the rest of the team. Overbot's going to hit an Earth Shadow there, and Stevic's going to have no counter for it this time, as he gets very low, but manages to fight, survive due to Zoom stunning him there, turning that fight around with one little Brigida stun. Maple's going to jump into the middle of them as Widowmaker, trying to stay alive with Snakeskin's healing here, but that's going to be the second map going towards the Falcons. Well... Uh, that that still was a questionable decision.
play of the game. Making MRD play the Zarya instead of Maple, who seems to be the usual off tank for the Centaurs, but that was the team's decision. It cost, I believe it just cost them the map. Double kill, triple kill. Still, really nice plays from Stevek right there. I mean, the MVP of that game has to be anti mail Well, yeah, certainly. It, it like, you know, that was Solo stopping the capture. He basically won them the map. If that was uh, two to two, then maybe, maybe something would have happened. A miracle would have happened for the centaurs and. Uh, They'd make this one a draw, but no. Yeah, Not this time. We are going to cut to a quick break momentarily whilst the teams get their things sorted, and we'll be back with the next game on Busan very soon. And we are back, everyone, heading into Busan. It's 2-0 to the Falcons. I don't think anybody saw this one coming. Yep. 
the defending champions about to lose their game to a team of, uh, well, I could say contenders, but uh, I, I'm not sure you can call them contenders because uh, they're, they do have a top 500 player in their roster and they have a real shot at the championship. Yep, and a bit of a warm-up there as both of the teams now assemble their teams. Now, VK, I know we spoke about this, but I've never actually casted a game on Busan, so you're going to have to tell me a little bit about what we can expect. Okay, so uh, Downtown Sanctuary and Mecha Base, where we are right now. Mecha Base is, uh, has three entrances, and those uh, little walls on the point that go up and down every 15 seconds now the entrances are pretty close so if the teams are quick or if they play dive they can rotate around then there's uh, another entrance oh, below the point now we know teams love high ground but will they use the low ground entrance remains to be seen so I what what would I expect from the map? Some dive okay. combinations and hopefully a Torbjorn. But uh, I mean, not here, not on the mecha base. It's just we're always play. hoping for a Torbjorn. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> All right, and of course, if we look over the teams right now, we do have the Centaurs on the red running that Winston, Tracer, Genji, Merciana and of course MD on the Diva. So again, it's a bit divey, it's not like full dive commitment because obviously they've got Anna instead of Lucio. But they're they're going in fast and they're gonna try and just deny as much healing along with that Anna, but the Falcons managing to just tear that team comp apart with the, their own take on semi-dive again. Like they're very both teams are playing very fast, very aggressive comps. Oh, that new and tasty dive combination from the Falcons works really well for them. Stevex seems to enjoy the Hammond. I mean, you've got to love some of that Wrecking Ball, right? Especially when you just get to zip zap around like that. Bowling Ball into teams, manage to get them all to focus you while they turn the back to the rest of the team and circle back to them. We see the bomb coming out from Snake OU where they're trying to find Fruity Moon, so it's not going to be able to as Anti Bell is defending Kazana with his life. Again, from Overbot, Overbot's about to fall, and there he does. So right now, the Falcons are looking really, really strong, and I know you touched up on it at the start of this round, but like you said, the Centaurs are the defending champions, and right now, the Falcons are putting them to their test. And uh, look at four ultimates on the Falcons' side, and four ultimates on the Centaurs' side. Now, the Nano Blade seems the most interesting combination that might come out here, if Maple survives. No. Yeah, we see a Diva Bomb doesn't. coming out there, managing to find MRD, which is actually going to be really, really important as they deny that Diva. Schnark being a big player right in that fight there, Animal about to drop down, and Snake Ovio actually does manage to find the res, which is going to give MRD a chance to get back into his mech, but he's so quickly shot down by Glacier there, not even being able to jump back into his mecha. The Nano Blade is still there for the Centaurs. Maple and Snake Skin can make that happen, can uh, turn this map around, but will they be able to hold against an EMP plus the, the strike of Doomfist? Uh, I'm not sure. To take the point is one thing, to hold it is another matter entirely. Snake OU switches to McCree. Yeah, they're gonna blade coming out from Maple there. It's gonna get nanoed and I think he manages just... No, he does get hit by that EMP, which is gonna be an absolutely key part of how this fight goes for the Falcons, is that EMP is gonna stop that nano blade from being able to find absolutely anybody. The demon coming out from MRD, but again, being just around that corner, those walls popping up, gonna be denying more area as it is 99-0 here, and it doesn't look like anybody's gonna get back there in time. And that's map one of Busan going towards the way of Falcons. Score one. So this next point could be could be game set match. Indeed. Now Busan downtown. I'm hoping to see a huge sniper duel here as uh, there are two high grounds for one for each team overlooking the whole of the points and almost all the entrances to to the point. 
Just as I'm saying it, Anti-Mail and Snake OU both switch to Widowmakers. Now we're going to see a Farmer C from the Centaurs. A viable combination. And only a Mercy, so um, keeps on the Tracer for the Falcons. Now Snake OU needs to be really good here. Because if he loses that Sniper Doom, Anti-Mail is going to control the map. And it's not gonna be really good for the centaurs. Yeah, of course they are gonna have Snake Oyo and Maple on the forest. So even if he loses that, if Maple can follow up with a rocket and just clear out uh, anti mail there, it's gonna be really, really important. But Fruity means it's gonna be staying to that high ground, kind of flying back and forth between the two upper bits, trying to stop them. Or trying to keep into the air so he can't be picked off, but also keep his team nice and healed. But Overwatch is gonna focus him down there, leaving Anti Mail to fend for himself. Stevak's gonna try and help him there, but he's not gonna be able to. Snark dealing up with MRD there, so. Unfortunately, almost immediately, the point goes towards the Falcons here. And Glacier switches to Anna. Not sure if a uh, good decision, but definitely a necessary one because uh, just not enough healing for the Centaur so far. Overbot. Yeah, they're gonna be able to try and clear it up a little bit here with the Centaurs managing to find a couple of things. Using some ults from Overbot there, they're gonna be able to find free moves, they're gonna be able to find Glacius. That means there's gonna be no support for the Falcons. So the Falcons are probably thinking, okay, let's just regroup. We're 32%, day 3. You know, we have some time to kill to regroup and just come in really strong again. Especially with Zoom having his ult, you have three memes and Snark also both having their ult, so they can have a big heal. But as I say that, Snake actually manages to find Anti-Mail just sitting up onto that high ground. Actually, mm, in... Anti-Mail gets rezzed. Alright, uh, can we pause? So we another need, uh, try in that fight. Rest. And game gets paused. Uh, we're gonna... We're going to uh, jump to a quick break real quick as we sort something out.
Welcome back, everybody. There, we are restarting this map onto Busan, of course, with the Falcons being up one point. So although the map says 0-0, it is 1-0 due to an exploit being used, which will be dealt with after this set of games. And instead of downtown, now we're going to Busan Sanctuary, a very narrow and close point, the middle of which is occupied by a huge drums so uh the key to winning this particular map is dancing around around that drum and uh, oh, dodging yeah. as much damage as you can yeah and going into it again we're going to be seeing plenty of people like snake skin OUO coming back into the game there glacio is going to be on that lucio so we're going to see Goats from neither team, which I am very excited about. I always love when we get a no goats game. And look at the three DPS combination from the centaurs. Overbot, Snake Oyo, and Mabel. All three of them using DPS. And every one of them is highly mobile. As we see a Genji Tracer and a Pharah. No, Overbot switches to Winston and we see almost a classic dive combination. A Fire Mercy dive. Well, you could see something like that on uh, a Li Jiang Tower, Gardens of Li Jiang Tower. But uh, I am highly unsure that um, farmers who will work here. That's just as I said, the point is very narrow and uh, the most of it is occupied by a drum. So there's not much space to play around for the Pharah. But there is a bit of an opening at the top of that, of course, he can try saving his ammo, sliding around on the roof. We're going to see this first fight breaking out now with Stevic just defending his team. Zoom's going to be trying to deal with Snake Oyuo, who is behind them. Pretty Beans actually hits the side, and anti is going to be able to clear that up with a nice little headshot from his widow. Stevic finding MRD's mech here and contesting that point as quickly as he can. Glacier's just going to be jumping about, just staying on there, keeping his team alive. Snake Skin's going to try and escape there, but he's not going to be able to as they try and find this first point. Maple doing his best to delay it for as much as he can. Hmm. Snake Oyo makes a frag and swim, but uh, that's all they get. They can't even engage because uh, not every one of them is here. At that time, Zoem is already respawned and moving towards the fight. Oh, there we go. Stevic's going to be able to get that charge along with the Earth Shadow onto Snake Oyo, taking out that Moira anti Mel losing the trader or the uh, Widow Duel there against Snake Oyo there, but Pretty Memes is going to come up behind him. And nobody's really focusing on the Anna who's looking to kill Mercy there. Pretty Memes managed to find the pick, and they're actually going to be able to win that fight, of course, flipping the point over. So they're going to be able to catch him points very quickly. The Centaurs, for once in these games, managing to find a bit of a lead. Snake Oyo, four kills in the last. Last fight, and uh, the point actually was captured way before the fight got finished. So just as I said, uh, the point is very narrow, very close, and uh, it's uh, it's very uncomfortable to fight on the point and to contest the point. I am uh, unsure how teams will handle this, but uh, so far the Falcons seem to just be okay with uh, giving away the points and taking the fight to a more open space. Yeah, the hammer down coming out there is going to be absolutely huge. Stevic manages to find three people there along with that nanos, which is going to do so much damage. The shield coming out trying to deal with MRD before he can get into that mech, but he's not going to be able to as the knockback just managed to keep him alive, but the point is going to flip over back to the side of the Falcons. And Fal Falcons instead take their time in capturing the point. Sight. Looks like uh, the centaurs are trying to capture the point and after that they're fighting, unlike uh, the falcons who are okay with that percentage. They, they seem really confident. What do you think? Yeah, I mean they are seeming very, very confident as they slowly build up that percentage coming back up 
from that one lost fight. They're going to try and rotate around, and Animal is not going to be able to find an escape from MRD, Snake OVO, and Overbutt there. Just all putting some damage onto him. Coalescence coming out, looking to deal with Glacier, and they do manage to find him along with Snake OVO finding Zoom, so they're not going to have that mercy to zip us off any zoop around. <laughs> Stabuk dying there as well, and they're going to be able to win this fight again, flipping it over just as the Falcons manage to catch up to the percentile. And Snake OVO, you all again finding heads. Popping them. Schnark still holding on to his uh, Graviton Surge. He's got uh, nothing to combo it with. I will not wait so he'll have to rely on sheer firepower and maybe 100% of his own charge. Yeah, but as you say, that a huge Graviton comes out. Snakes can get picked off by any male at the start of that fight, so they're not going to have that Mercy healing. They're not going to have that Mercy res, and they're just not going to be able to defend this point. Even with Maple on uh, Farah there, he was too low and didn't have his boosters up to get away from Stevix. Um, from Stevix Winston, there is. We see the primary coming out from Overbot, trying to contest the point, but he quickly realizes that was a bad idea and jumps out to, get, uh, to group back up with the rest of his team. Not the best ultimate usage, but uh, at least he's alive. That saves some time for Centaurs, and maybe will give them a little bit of room to breathe on the next fight. And they're not coming in naked, they've got uh, Maple's Barrage, MRD is really close, as is Snake's, you know, you all. They're trying to cap the points. Oh. Here we go. Maple's gonna be trying to find a pick hit on Stevic using that little hole in the ground. And actually, Snake are finding the uh, Glacier there before he could pop the sound barrier, set it up so Maple could find two picks and letting them flip it over 99 to 99. This fight's gonna decide this first point of the map. MRD trying to deal with Snark here along with the rest of his team. And they are gonna be fine. And it looks like for once the Centaurs are going to be able to take a point. That's where he very good. It's uh, nice to see the Centaurs back in action. It's nice to see them uh, still trying to win this map. Because if they lose this map, they uh, basically lose the whole match. And we're back on downtown. Hopefully no Widows will use the glitch this time. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if they haven't learned their lesson already, then I think there's bigger issues. Well, yeah. Still, still. We see absolutely the same combination from uh, the Centaurs. They still have uh, Far Mercy. Snake OVO, however, keeps to Moira instead of uh, switching to Ana like he did it on the last iteration of this map. We see Fruity Memes on Ana, Glacier on Lucio. It's almost the dive combination from uh, the Falcons and the male gets, goes down. Yes, Deku, you're finding another pick there on anti Mail, just winning these Widow Duels over and over again. He's been able to find so many heads. Snark looking for Snake Skin, but he isn't going to be able to find that one just yet as he regroups with the rest of his team. Deciding to anti Mail again, might want to switch to the Doomfist in this situation, right? Like, I know it's Farah, and I know how important a sniper is on this map, but he's losing these duels so frequently that maybe he could put a bit more pressure on them with the Doomfist. Uh, that is possible, but um, I'd call it a third tank actually, because uh, if not anti male, someone else is gonna have to deal with Snake Oyo on the Widowmaker. That's, That's true. either well, Winston Stavik... or Diva. Yeah, and Stevic has been dealing with that fairly well. Maple trying to survive here, but the fight does go to the side of the Falcons here for this first little bit, and they do find Snake Oyo on the retreat there, so that's gonna delay them even further. No ultimate stole for either team so far, but uh, Maple is close with the barrage. Fruity Memes is close with uh, the nano boost. So it's gonna be a uh, Farah versus a nano boosted Steven. Who's gonna win? And the mystery. That's a good question. Although, as we were saying, Snake Oyo wins that Widow duel again. anti Mel unfortunately, getting picked off here. So he's going to leave him down to a barrage coming out from Maple there. The MRD does is able to find his sound barrier. Oh, not MRD. I do a Valerie's Glacier. Is able to find his sound barrier here. Along with that Diva Bomber, is able to find Snake Skin and MRD's mech. So that's going to suddenly turn the fight into the side of the Frontiers. They managed to find Overbot again. And MRD's not going to be able to survive the onslaught of damage that's coming towards him. Snake Oyo trying to escape here with the Moira step, but not being able to either. And then Again, no they're going to be able to hold the point as we hear the Infrasight coming out 
prom and email. Maybe he can win the duel now. Finding Maple there, very, very important, getting rid of that Faro. And they still have uh, the Nano Boost, and now they have Primal Rage as well. So it's gonna be very dangerous. Tivek is uh, known to be a very good Winston player, as well as uh, a very good Reinhardt player, and a big fan of Hammond. Look at him yeah. sneaking. Maybe trying to pop that nano boost right at the backs of the centaurs. Yeah, it's Derek jumping into the point there, going into that 1v5, using his bubble, looking for some of those supports. He knew he had primal rage, so as soon as he went low, pops the primal rage, he was up to that 1000 HP along with some of the armor that he's got. It's gonna be making him very, very tanky as we hear the nano boost coming out, another primal rage coming out from over, but this time trying to push them around. If Stavik can find a couple more picks here along with Zoom, Zoom falling to Maple here, we see MRD's Deeper Bomb coming up. It's not going to be able to find abs, uh, anybody here, and the point is going to flip, but it is 99 to 30. It's not looking re really good for the Centaurs. They've only got one ultimate, and that ultimate is uh, an Infrasight from Snake OUO. That's all they have. Against Zoom's Bomb, against Schnark's uh, Mecha. They'll have to figure something out. Because if they don't, they lose the map, they lose the game. They the don't want to lose the game. No, no they do not. And they get a big fight from that Snake. You are finding three picks there. And the res coming out from Maple. Stevic and uh, Free Memes there are not going to be able to find what they need in that time. They have maybe done. one more fight to recover from this. Hello. The fourth kill for Snake Oyo. He really wants to make this happen. He really wants to make this map. He's like, guys, if you can't do it, I'm gonna do it myself. He is doing it. Now Maple is really close to the barrage, so that's gonna be the ultimate. So we'll see the next fight. That's the only one we'll see, because the glacier is pretty far on that on uh, his pass and Suam's bomb. Well. If it happens, it'll, it'll happen. Yeah, and the bomb coming out there from Zoom, actually hitting over by getting him low enough. We see Stavik on that hammer, so he can try and deal with that bar mercy up into the sky. And Email just needs to get one good headshot on one of these flyers at the moment to deal with this problem. We see the justice coming out, and Stavik is going to be able to get round the corner there, trying to deal with the red. Oh, we hear Valkyrie being caught by Snake Skin. That bounce is going to be super important as the healing just chains along everybody here. Stavik's going to be playing that hammer, just rotating around onto that point, trying to delay them, but he does get knocked away a little bit, and the map is going to go towards the centaurs victory bringing it to 2-1 they keep the pressures up they keep the hopes up and that's really good because now we are going to map 4 which is route 66 now the rumor is that uh, on a public test realm on a test version of the servers the route 66 no is uh, a little bit different the cap on the payload is removed. So, what's your take? What was inside the payload? I, you know, I have no idea. Um, it's, it's a good question. I always Maybe. thought it, uh, it's a McCree's bomb of hand. sorts, but McCree's arm, you know, because he's got a he's got a biotic arm, right? So, well, yeah, but maybe uh... maybe cryostased. You know, it is his map. He's known to be around Route 66. Like his, I'm grasping his live arm, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just his living arm in cryostasis. <laughs> that's that's dark. I mean, it might be. But it's probably not, though. I'm grasping at straws. I didn't even know that it had been removed until you just mentioned it, so... That's definitely interesting. It might have something to do with the new hero. Uh, that's very likely, and I hope the new hero will be a little bit better balanced than Brigitte was. Okay. You know, just casually. Still, Route 66, a uh, very interesting map, and uh, I usually see a lot of shenanigans on it. Ranging from a Bastion pick and a pirate ship, and maybe ending with a Torbjorn. Hopefully. Come on, guys. Pick a Torbjorn. Make us happy.
that would be very, very nice. Still, what are the odds we're going to see a pirate ship? With Torbjorn? Uh, with a Bastion I'm, or with a Torbjorn? I, I might be biased, but 100%. From whom? Centaurs or the Falcons? Both teams. Because uh, I don't really see the Falcons uh, doing something as unusual for them as a pirate ship. They... That's... To me, they appear a team that Traveling stick to their to standard seats. strategies. They try yep. not to experiment too much. Or oh, they experiment plenty in their skirmishes and their practice matches and just figure out what works for them. That's, if... that's entirely likely. But uh, that leads to a very non-experimenting -exper uh, competitive play. So if it works, don't fix it. That's that's their yeah. motto, and uh, it's not the worst one. And you were talking about pirate ship. We do see zoom on the bastion. Now this is gonna be interesting. Antimail so is may... uh, on the reaper. You may be also... about to take back those words because if uh, that is the falcons, of course, with the bastion. Well. Looks like they have something figured out, and uh, that's really good. Attackers yeah. incoming. I love seeing seconds. new strategies. I was uh, kind of afraid that we're just going to see another goat or another dive. Be it. Snake Oil you all still keeping on uh, that Widowmaker. Probably a very good decision from him, because uh, he's been on fire in the last one. If he keeps uh, four, that shooting three, up, two, it's one, gonna be one. very hard for the Falcons to take this map. Yeah, and Maple, of course, is gonna be staying onto that farm mercy that worked really, really well for them last point. We do see Snake O'Yu on the Widowmaker as well. So Ant's gonna be onto that point, and again, he's just gonna immediately turn onto Maple and try and do as much damage as he can. Bastion just being able to melt through Faras if they're not careful, if they're stuck into the air, and one cool out, and he. It might be Gonzo. Standing ground. Ma Maple's still playing it cool. He's trying, He's trying to, avoid to it juggle it around the can. mountains. Yes. Trying to harass the back line. But, um, and the call out is by the best. Yeah, that was the call out from Stevic there. He saw Stevic and uh, uh, Zoom there. Immediately turning around, dealing with him. And that's a flawless first point for the Falcons. They haven't the stopped once. Snake OUO switches to a Farah. They uh, actually swap heroes, sacrificing old charge, but keeping the Farah and uh, taking a Sombra. Yeah, of course, we have Maple switching off of the Farah, though, so they're switching it up a bit. Getting rid of that Widowmaker is probably the most interesting bit, right? I know it's not amazing against Pirate Ship, but if she manages to get a flank and gets two or three hits, even if she dies afterwards, it's still really, really useful. Any male now jumping onto, uh, I believe, MRD there, MRD on the Zarya, making sure that he can't build up that charge. Uh, Snake's gonna be sitting into that background, trying to rinse the rockets down, holding an angle along with Snake's skin, but they're gonna get collapsed upon by the rest of the Falcons here. And if they're not careful and don't get an angle soon, Snake's skin is gonna fall. Being very, very low there. Of course, Mercy's passive, the uh, combat recovery, is gonna be able to keep her up for a little while, but it does. she does get chased down by Snark there. Four ultimates against one Valkyrie, and that's that Valkyrie's dead. They call you all gets denied. So I'm um, immediately rest and uh, six ultimates for the Falcons. It looks uh, looks like the easiest third point for them as well. Antimail is ten percent away from Death Blossom. And everything else is there. Well, over, but. Uh, can do damage if he manages to land the Earth Shatter correctly. 
yet. The supercharger coming out from Stevic there, so that means that Zoom's gonna be doing so much damage on this Bastion over much shielding it for long, but not as long as he usually could. The hammer down actually falling, MRD jumping in front of him now, trying to deal with it. The supercharger does fall to MRD, but Anti Mail snuck up behind them and managed to deal with it for Snake, uh, Snake are you oh, and Overbot, so they're not gonna have a Reinhardt, they're not going to have a Moira, and Snake Skin with his Valkyrie there is gonna be trying to run away. Anti Mail just doing work on the other side as they're all so focused on the Bastion. <laughs> Overbot switches to Genji Snake, oh, your switches to Tracer and uh, MRD and Maple are the two tanks now. This is something really new. Yeah, they're switching up, they're trying to find something because as it is for right now, the Falcons are just tearing through them. Zoom managing to find two picks, Snark managing to find Maple, Stebuk managing to find Overbot and that's... Borderline a team kill if Snake OU or, or OVO can't get back in time, which he's not going to be able to. That was an extremely quick Route 66. Four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock for the Falcons. That was a really good take from them. And uh, the Centaurs, they are going to need something, something just as devastating as uh, Zoom's Bastion. I mean, that was that was. You know, we, we said at the start that the Falcons don't usually play something like Pirate Ship, but they really made it work there. Well, it uh, it certainly looks like they've been practicing it a lot. So, uh, maybe they just don't play something they're not uh, entirely confident in. They were just practicing the Pirate Ship, and now... Now that they're confident, they decided to actually roll out and then play it. The Against the defending champions, no less. So that's a huge amount of confidence uh, from Falcons. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Now we're going to see a counter pirate ship from the Centaurs with a Maple on Bastion and MRD. Again, tanking uh, instead of him. Allow me to repair the damage. It's definitely a possibility. We see Snake Oyo back on that Widowmaker now on the attack, right? So Five, four, that's three, definitely two, an interesting pick. And Glacier on the Zenyatta, I believe that's the first that Zenyatta we've seen this entire set. Hello there. Escort the payload. Indeed. And uh, let's see if, how good this works for the Falcons. Zenyatta is usually a very solid pick, but uh, if he can't land a uh, Discord Orb on the Bastion, he likely won't be able to because uh, Overbot's shield. This is gonna be a tough take for the Falcons. Yeah, and again, just running that pirate ship, they should be able to counter it here. Running the Zenyatta, like you were saying, to deal with that Bastion, getting the uh, Orb of uh, Discord onto them makes it so that it just takes a lot more damage. But unfortunately, they're all just going to jump onto like a big pylon and die one after the other, leaving Snark to try and defend for himself. But still, that's valuable time lost for the Centaurs. At the point of 3.15, the Falcons were already... Moving the payload towards the second point, and uh, it's already 2.55 on the clock. Oh, of course they are going to get some time extensions once the they get to the point here, so bring it to 5.20. And they were actually ready to get this another fight. Look at their positions, look at them hiding. Yeah, they're they all just going to focus. Their ambush. Yeah, ambushing onto Maple, getting rid of him as quickly as they can. Snake Oyo is looking for something, they don't actually spot anybody, they spot Stevic staying over to the side, but Maple's gonna turn around and that's gonna give Animal the chance to just jump onto that point and shoot him. Like, he's just paying attention to Stevic because that was the first fallout, and of course he wants to focus the tank, but Animal sneaking up behind him, manages to find two, manages to possibly find three here, as MRD's left by himself, MRD's gonna come around the corner and hunt that mech. And even Glacier gets rezzed. So Maple immediately switches to Farah, realizes that Bastion won't do the trick anymore. So let's see how this works for him. Now that's an ultimate sacrifice, and uh, a Valkyrie just got used, so it's only Overbot's supercharger here, ready. And again, we see 
Diva Road's coming out everywhere there, not being able to find anybody. Stemic finding Snakeo, you are trying to flank behind the rest of his team. We see uh, Zoom's uh, Rip Tire there is. Finds MRD's Meg, the Overcharger, and Snakeo VO, and they're just going to be able to clear up this fight once again. It's such. They're in such a difficult spot now to try and push that payload, right? Because now that the doors are closed, they have yeah, to come through the rear uh, entrances or up onto the high ground. And if they all just tunnel through one entrance, they're able to get picked off so quickly. Especially with anti mail having that Death Blossom, if he plays a little bit further behind, comes round and just Death Blossoms them once um, MRD loses his mech, they have nothing to defend against it. So a huge mistake from anti mail getting killed by uh, Snake OU. This might be the opening the Centaurs are looking for. Yeah, we see the Coalescence coming out from Snake OVO here, but with a nano boosted Stebuk, they're gonna jump on the point. And Stebuk's making the interesting call here, right? He's like, okay, just let my team fall, let them use a bunch of ultimates, stay up behind them, and if we can recover this fight, I'll jump in once everybody else has gone a little bit further, so I'm not dying instantly. And any male's gonna be able to get there, and Mercy's gonna have absolutely nowhere to hide. It's actually, as I say that, they managed to. Thread it, through, uh, thread, thread it through the needle there as they slide through two different doors, escaping anti mail was Reaper Fire. Stabak popping that primal rage, trying to keep them off the point again, just trying to keep them in this corner, right? The longer they're in this corner, the more time they're wasting, the longer they have to push it for. It might seem like a waste of an L because it's going into 1v6, but he survives due to the end of it. He manages to get over there to bubble his team using the reset from the CD of, his, of coming out of his ultimate so he could double jump with that lunge and just. Again, just the little intricacies of certain uh, heroes that he uses, and it just shows very much that he's experienced in them. Still, Snake Oyo keeps, keeps blasting, not much you can say to a bullet in the head. Glacier goes down as well. Antimail says, through this, switches to Widowmaker, loses the whole Death Blossom. Well, this might be a little bit rush, but. Uh, and we've seen anti mail lose those duels to Snake OUO. So, yeah. what do you think? Is it going to work out for him this time? Well, no matter what, the Falcons are going to come ahead out of this point, right? They've already got in it to the second point, and the Falcons are already a minute ahead, and they haven't even tried to push it through this last stretch of the map. So, we might see them get it down. I, I'm fairly fairly confident we'll see the Falcons run the timer down to zero, whether or not they'll stop it and win the map, we'll see, but we should definitely see the Falcons having a huge advantage if it does end up going into another set of rounds. Only a nano boost to work with for the Falcons and Stevex dead, so only Schnark has a viable target for it. The mail goes down, and Zoom is now on a Sombra. An yeah, interesting Zoom decision. Being... The zoom being on that Sombra might be because they want to jump in and stop Snake Skin, especially when he pops that Valkyrie with the EMP. Snark swishes to Daria. And all of them just zoomed, kind of playing to the corner. They're looking for Snake OUO. They know if they can deal with him, they can deal with the rest of the team fairly confidently. Maple getting behind them all. Stevic does manage to turn around, but he's not going to have his shield to block this Diva Bomb. The Diva Bomb does find Zoom here, and nobody's contesting the point as they're able to get it. 50 meters on, they're gonna be able to push it. I stand corrected there. The centaurs managed to do that very, very well. Score. I'm not sure if uh, that was calculated or just random blind luck, but that uh, kill on Glacier certainly was the pivotal point of the fight. Because Glacier had the only actionable ultimate there. And once he got down, he, once he got killed, he couldn't use it and uh, couldn't help his team. This ultimate could have saved the entire map for him. Yeah. Still, a two minute difference on the timer. I wonder what uh, the teams will be up to. We see another Let's pirate ship from the Centaurs. Maple again on the Bastion. Zoom now on McCree as opposed to Junkrat and a triple tank combination from the Falcons. Do you think they're expecting a Bastion? Um, probably. I think both teams are expecting a Bastion at this point, right? Well, yeah, it's that's uh, so very fancy. likely. That's the reason Anti Mail is uh, now on Diva. Diva is a uh, much better counter to Bastion than uh, Reinhardt. And you could also say that's why they're all pushed up so far, right? They want them to set up onto the payload and then all just jump on behind them. 
And with Seiko Yuo going that way instead of onto it, they're actually not going to see them as Stemic jumps out until the point leading into the fight here. We see the speed boost coming out from Glacier and it's going to be so important as Maple falls. They need to find Snakeskin here so they don't get the res. MRD is going to fall immediately as well. So the res isn't even going to be important here as Overbot or Stemic there looks for a pin onto Overbot. Not being able to find it, but he is playing extremely aggressively as he tries to fight this out Overbot. Sitting on that charge, right? Sitting at 63, he's going to be hurting quite badly as the rest of the team backs out here for the Falcons, making sure that they don't overextend once Maple sets back up. Maple keeps the Bastion, but uh, I love the decision of uh, bringing this close and personal for the Falcons. I mean, it's what they need to do in this situation. Snake OUO, though, once again being neglected as he just gets that free sight line from up above, managing to find Zoom, managing to find Stemic, I believe he also managed to kill Glacier. No, yeah. No, Glacier didn't die. Um, no, nobody died there. Okay, so he found Stemic and Zoom because nobody was paying attention to him. And then he finds Glacier and Freaky Memes. But they wasted Nicolio a minute. Of just time. trying to do something, trying to find something for his team. Maple really close in a tank mode for the Bastion, but is it actually going to be used? Especially against Anti Mail and Diva. It's possible, but as you say, that Anti Mail does lose his mech there to Maple Snake. Oh, you are using that. Um, Using the grappling hook, let's try and get some high ground, try and flank it out. We see the coalescence coming out from Fruity Memes. So they're trying to kill Maple. Maple does fall to zoom there, which is going to be crucial to this next fight. 30 seconds.